Yeah, hi, Mr. Shim. Uh, today, actually, uh, I want to uh, discuss together with you a very important subject. Uh, we were just having some orange, and uh, you start to you know uh, raise some questions about reincarnation, right? Uh, reincarnation, uh, the subject, um, is definitely a very important one. So, um, I would like you to first raise your question about reincarnation and tell me, you know, what's uh, your understanding about reincarnation, especially about human beings, purpose of being a human, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, you know, we we basically starting to touch the subject about human life. And most people who live in the modern world, like in the school, public school system, they teach children that, uh, you know, human beings uh, are from, you know, uh, evolution. And uh, the whole evolution started from like inorganic substance to organic substance. And then organic substance, um, you know, start to evolve into a small cell. And then the cells uh, more and become an organism. And the organism usually is from very low level and gradually evolve into more complex level. And to the degree that ultimately, you know, the creature uh, that we call, um, you know, um, like a fish, right? Uh, all those things are in the water. So according to the so-called evolution theory that, you know, life comes from, not, uh, from inorganic substance uh, and uh, through random interaction eventually form more complex life form and then the more complex life form you know also start from a low level to high level from water to the land and then eventually comes to the uh you know creature called a uh, monkey right chimpanzee and uh, so monkey climbs up to the tree uh in order to you know uh do what it needs to do for a living eventually monkey decided to come down to the ground and walk and then the tail falls off and that's human right so the children right now are being given that understanding about where, where where human beings is from. So, you know, this is in the textbooks. It's not only in the American textbook, but also in the Chinese textbook, Japanese textbook, Korean, right? Korean children also learn mm -hmm. about where mankind comes from, right? Mm -hmm. I think right now the whole world in terms of in the area of science and technology, uh, the textbook, yesterday I did some research on Google. And the Google says that, um, you know, uh, where is, like I said, you know, uh, like uh, uh, the question is like in Chinese, I searched in Chinese with the title that Master, Master Li, Master Li Hongzhi recently published um, an article on Da Ji Yuan, the Chinese newspaper. Um, the the, the uh, title of uh, Master Li's uh, article is, Wei Shen Ma You Ren Lei? Why, right? Yo means uh, has, ren lei, uh, mankind, right? So I translated into why there are human beings, you know? So I use, why is there human Google it, Google search. And I see all the answers that came out about why is there human is called evolution. So the consensus currently, um, everybody in the, human world that get about it basically says there is no purpose about human you know human being just come out from randomness random evolution is called so this is what the atheists are tell people that human beings come out from lower creature and then evolve into higher creature and the human being has no difference from animals right it is a result of called evolution. And this is being taught in the textbooks, in all textbooks, okay? But uh, you are different. You are, you, know, you are someone who are spiritual. And ever since 19 years old, uh, you started to commit to follow this uh, you know, uh, moral teaching uh, from uh, you know, this, uh, uh, I think he's a spiritual practitioner. In my heart, I think he's a spiritual practitioner, Mr. Yue Gen. And he passed, uh, you know, the, to the students, the, the great moral teachings. And uh, that's the moral teaching you followed and you, you practice. So your whole system is much more clean, clear. Um, and your mind is also more clear and clean than average. That's my assessment, okay? Definitely you are more uh, 
you know, clear-headed. That's why when other people start to follow CCP lies, you don't follow. When uh, CCP persecute Falun Gong practitioners, you don't follow. And you start to think that, mm, you know, I'm going to also start to get to learn what Falun Gong is, you know, what Falun Dafa is after you met me. So um, that's why today you have also some questions about, uh, you know, what uh, actually Falun Dafa practitioners, how Falun Dafa practitioners think about human beings um, in terms of human life versus the origin, I mean, about the origin of human life and the purpose of human life and the future of human life, correct? Mm -hmm. are those are the key subjects. Yeah. Basically, those are the fundamental four questions that uh, humanity should answer. Wh one is, where are we from? Why we are here? Where are we going? How are we going to get there, right? Those are the four noble questions, mm -hmm. right? So we are going to discuss about that. And uh, therefore, I want to invite you to uh, you know, speak up and uh, tell me, and you already started those questions, that's why I said let's record it, right? Because I think we're going to teach about it. Those are very fundamental moral questions, correct? Correct. Mm. Mm. So I would like you to invite you, you know, as a moral teacher, we have this uh, Sacred Virtue Institute, and you said, when I asked you, Mr. Shim, why you want to build Sacred Virtue Institute? Well, uh, what's the mission, right? And you mm. said, number one, want to shine light. light. Well, I, I would like this institute to be able to shine light into the dark human society. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, I would like to see this institute to bring order into the chaos of the human society, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, um, I would like to use the moral teaching through this non-profit you know, non organization called Sacred Virtue Institute um, to help humanity to eradicate their evil thoughts. And uh, I immediately said, let's work together and let's build this nonprofit organization together, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we worked really hard and we started to do it. And now we have accomplished the registration in New York State. And now we're ready to operate. And exactly around this time, uh, Master Lee, delivered this teaching, and the title is called Why There Are Mankind, or There Are Human Beings, right? That's my translation is Why There Are Human Beings. It's subjected to good, you know, modifications in the future. Whatever is best, I would like to do the best translation for the English speakers, mm -hmm. because the original teaching is in Chinese. I felt that the teaching is so profound. On the surface, it's so simple as if everybody can understand, but it's not true. I noticed that recently in the media, even the Falun Dafa practitioners try to talk about their understandings of this. I think they didn't get it. You know, I felt that a lot of even Falun Dafa practitioners didn't really get it. Certainly there were two members from our nonprofit organization, the whole elephant Institute, two members are interviewed by Daji Yuan News, and they all, you know, got their picture taken and are claiming that they are so excited and, and thinking that the teaching is great. But their statements, especially one of them, when I look at it, almost every statement is wrong. They, he didn't get it at all, but he's somehow excited, you know. Oh, Messiah, you know. He claimed like, oh, I'm a researcher of Bible, and uh, I think it's about the Messiah has showed up, you know? No. If you study Bible, no matter how good you're a Bible researcher, you will not recognize Master Lee as the Messiah. Absolutely not. Because if you study Bible, you believe that Jesus is going to be the Messiah. And uh, you are waiting for Jesus to come back to save the world. So no matter how hard you study Bible, if you don't cultivate, you don't know Bible a thing. The Bible will not reveal to you a thing of the truth. So anybody pretend to be a Bible researcher and claim that Master Lee has written something that he considered Master Lee is a Messiah, I would say that he's evil. 
You know, I would say that he's evil because he's damaging Master Li's reputation among the Christians. He's going to cause trouble for Master Li among the Christians. Bible is not for you to start to claim someone else to be the Messiah. Bible, if you really study, actually is about how to study, how to follow Jesus' spirit and to cultivate. And you have no other teacher but Jesus. You're supposed to be dedicated to Jesus and learn all the lessons you must learn from Jesus. Only after you graduate from a student of Jesus, then you can follow another teacher. Master Lee never claimed himself to be the Messiah. And you are not even Christian. And you dare to claim that Master Lee is writing something to make him a Messiah. Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm very uncomfortable about that article published on Da Ji Yuan. I think it's troublemaking. Luckily, it's not translated into English. If it's translated into English, and a lot of Christians in, the, in, in America, in the world, will be very mad, even start to be mad towards Master Lee. Do you know what I mean? That's why I think that you really need to be more careful in publishing anything like that, you know. You see, some of the Dajuan reporters, they probably encounter a lot of, you know, people. In this world, the moment talk about Master Lee, they start to use CCP hate propaganda to say bad things about Master Lee. Most likely, those reporters are fed up by all those negativities. And the moment they hear somebody praise Master Lee, they are very eager to just fall into the trap. And they follow that. And they glorify it someone who really is not telling the truth and start to make big of, you know, as if praising Master Lee. But praising Master Lee doesn't mean that that person knows who is Master Lee. Doesn't mean that that person truly believes in Master Lee. It is sometimes even possible that the person wants to take advantage of the whole situation to glorify himself. Do you know what I mean? Agree or not, morally. I think that's the greatest danger mm-hmm. for Falun Dafa practitioners who are eager to receive the world's recognition. Oh, Falun Dafa is good. Anybody say Falun Dafa is good? They don't even know the motivation of that person. They jump right into it. Now, if the person starts to say certain things so wild, like this is a milestone, this is a milestone for mankind that Ma- Master Lee's publication is, I think Master Lee is a messiah. I think that person should shut up. This is my true view, okay? I don't know whether, from your perspective, what's your feedback on me, but I feel most uncomfortable when people pretending that they know it. But every statement they say is going to cause so much trouble. So many negativities. Going to create so many negativities towards Master Lee. Because this person's moral is not even conforming to the fundamental requirement of a good person. Now, if you're a good person in the world, if you're not a Bible researcher, don't say you're a Bible researcher because you're not glorifying Jesus. You are blaspheming Jesus. You are placing negativities towards the one faith group, towards another faith group. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if I'm that an editor, I would definitely cut it out. This kind of statement from an interviewer, I would definitely cut it out. Because who I want to interview, when Master Lee's uh, you know, great teaching comes out, truly, this is precious. You know, in my heart, this is so precious. You supposed to bring the true thinkers, the true thinkers, those people who are truly be able to, uh, you know, say and deliver more insight to help the other readers to pay attention to the important essence of the teaching. Not let people like a whistle, you know, blowing whistle, jump around and, uh, you know, uh, make a, lo- a loud noises in the 
people to distract people's ability to seriously con- read, kind you know calmly read, and、uh, rationally discuss. Do you know what I mean?、Mm-hmm. I see it's a CCP pro- propaganda style right now. Those who really don't know what Master Li's, you know, teaching.、Mm-hmm. I always say it's like you know. A teacher, right, standing in front of the students and delivering a very solemn message,、mm-hmm. and that message concerns about the future of mankind. And the students, if truly know how solemn the message is, do you think the student will start to say, "Master, you are the greatest." You supposed to listen. You have no right. To disturb the classroom, and making a chaos, and distract the people to listen to the master and think about the master's message. Do you know what I mean? That's what I truly discuss. You know, really di- didn't like right now. Currently, Da Jiuan are publishing the articles. Some of them are very solemn and very very genuine, but、uh, an article like that, I think it's damaging. Yeah. That's why today, I would like you、mm-hmm. to be the one that I would like to hear your true, genuine feedback after reading, you know, Master Li's teaching. Why is there human beings? I believe that article is delivering something that if the Mainstream American society and the, all the professors,、uh, you know, all the top-notch researchers, who been always wondering about this subject, if they read this, I will tell you, this truly will totally lead mankind to a totally different place, because what Master Li has taught in this article. Completely explained the true origin of mankind, the true purpose of mankind, and the true principle of mankind, and will cause a lot of people to raise very deep questions. And if people can't answer those questions. Calmly, searching for the true, truth, and eventually truly get it, truly get the truth. The person will be saved. This article can save everyone. It can save everyone, as long as that person get it. The problem is that people are not getting it. That's why we. At the Sacred Virtue Way Institute, shall play a very key role in helping people to get it. The other day, when I asked you a question, you said, "This is all in Zhuan Fa Lun." Master Li already said all those truths in Zhuan Fa Lun. Remember, that's what、mm-hmm. you said.、Mm-hmm. Because you are you finishing the book, the the whole book now.、No. You finish the whole book. No, I'm yeah, and now I'm second reading. Second time reading now.、Mm-hmm. That's why, you said it's all written in Zhuan Fa Lun. There we go. What a profound answer. There. You didn't say anything after reading it. Very solemn.、Mm-hmm. You never made any noise. Oh, Master Li is great. Such and such. There's no word to say that, because your heart recognizes the truth. You are paying attention to the truth. Master Li doesn't want people's praise. Masley wants people to know the truth. If you don't know the truth and you jump around to say Master Li is great, Master Li is not going to think you are such a good student. You know, if you are a student, you study. So that's why I think, you know, the Korean version. There is still no Korean version. So I try to try to use Google Translate to turn into Korean version, but I don't really read Korean. I know. Intuitively, I know that from the 
Mandarin from the Chinese character translated into Korean language, use Google most likely has no much problem because it's pretty much closest, you know, translation. But I don't want to make any mistake either in the publication. You know what I mean? So I would like to hear ask for your kind help. Please help me. Please help the Korean people as many as possible to be able to read Master Lee's article. Because Master Lee said something so critically important. I know that this is going to be critical at this moment for us as moral teachers in Sacred Virtue Institute. This is a text that I like to recite. I like to totally memorize in English, in Chinese, and then hopefully through learning Korean language from you. I like to recite the whole thing in Korean language. If I can do that, then I can go to Korea to teach. Mm -hmm. I like to let all the children know why there are human beings. It's not like the textbook says from the monkey, Master Lee told us a completely different reason why there are human beings. Mm. And the, now, what's going on in the whole human world? What is the most important thing to do and how to survive? This is serious, very, very serious. And I'm sure you can recognize the true, you know, essence of the teaching and help to promote and help people to do the right thing in order to live through this uh, most challenging time of the world, okay? This is my request today from you, okay? okay? Can we do that? Can we do that? Mm -hmm.